I would like to start off this Merkaba meditation with a little bit of explanation. What is a tetrahedron? A tetrahedron is four equally spaced out points of interest that makes a four-sided pyramid. In this Merkaba meditation, we will be using two tetrahedrons, one pointed upwards, one pointed downwards, that are partly inside of each other. The upward pyramid, which is the masculine, representing fire, and the masculine counterpart, will have some of the point coming out of the base of the feminine pyramid, which will be pointed downwards, representing water, representing the chalice, and representing the divine feminine. This shape, in my opinion, is the shape of every single one of our auric fields. Based upon the level of initiation and the amount of work we've done is what will change the size and the spin on this light body ship known as the Merkaba. With proper practice, you can and will get out of your body by using this spiritual technology. So you will be picturing what is already there. This three-dimensional Star of David shaped platonic solid geometric pattern around your body. Your entire body should fit inside the hexagonal core, meaning the base of the downward pointed pyramid, the feminine pyramid, should be above your head. And the base of the masculine pyramid, the upward pointed fire pyramid, should be below your feet. The feminine pyramid, from a bird's eye view, will be spinning counterclockwise. The masculine pyramid is below your feet will be spinning clockwise. If you want to pause for a moment and practice this, it's like opening a jar. Opening a jar is essentially the same movement as tightening the Merkaba. We will be spinning this faster and faster and faster and faster until it reaches max velocity, maximum speed. Let's all begin by focusing on our breath. The entire body should be extremely relaxed. I prefer to start from the very outside bottom of each pinky toe and tuning out every single body part all the way up, back down my arms, every single fingertip, the cheeks, the forehead muscles, the eyelids, the top of the crown. The one thing that will be having some tension still in the head, which is very mild tension, is the tongue should be pressed into the roof of the mouth. Not as a point, thinking of having the tongue spread out across the entire roof of the mouth and then pressing gently. This is what will activate an electrical circuit. If 
you feel comfortable to lay down during this meditation style, do so. If you feel comfortable to breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth, or to mouth breathe, then do so. The way that I've had the most success with this style of meditation is in through the nose, out through the nose, my tongue is pressed into the roof of my mouth, and I do each of the appropriate mudras. When I speak of the mudra, each hand will be separate until I explain when the hands will come together at the end of the meditation. I would like to take a brief moment to explain the end of the meditation now as well. Because once you are out of your body or extremely relaxed, this might not make sense. And I want it to make sense for you. So let's briefly go through the mudras. When we work with the first chakra, it will be thumb to pointer finger. Second chakra, thumb to middle finger. Third chakra, thumb to ring finger. Heart chakra, fourth chakra, thumb to pinky. Throat chakra, thumb to pointer and middle finger. Third eye chakra, sixth chakra, thumb to middle finger and ring finger. The seventh chakra, which is the first outside of the body, known as the crown, will be the ring finger with the pinky. And then we will be visiting the eighth chakra, which will be the pointer finger, middle finger, and ring finger. The ninth chakra, which will be the pinky finger, ring finger, and middle finger. And then the last position will be known as the lotus position. This position will bring both thumbs together, and then the fingers will sit in the palm of the hand on one side. I prefer to have my left hand on top of my right hand. My thumbs are pressed together to make the circuit. Thumbs are pointed up, just in front of the face or at the face. When you create this circuit, if you're just practicing right now to prepare for this meditation, when you point your thumbs at each chakra, each center at the forehead, you might feel a blast of chi, you might feel some energy pressing towards you from those two thumbs. This is something that you can definitely, I would suggest you work with at some other time. So just so there is a little bit more explanation, so there doesn't have to be too much thinking while we go through this meditation, those are the hand mudras. At this point, I would like to fully begin the Merkaba meditation. Feet flat on the floor. The back of the hands are on top of the thighs, close to the knees. Thumb to pointer finger. And just sit here for a little while, relax the body, clearing out any thoughts, releasing anything and everything. If you are noticing that your mind is wanting to think about something, a little break and come back. This isn't the type of meditation style that we force. Go 
take a little walk, go out to nature, ground, and then come back. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. I travel down to my pinky toe on each foot. Just spend a little bit of time bouncing from my left pinky toe to my right pinky toe to my left pinky toe to my right pinky toe. And then I proceed to tune out my toes on each foot. out through the nose, adjusting my posture where necessary, tuning out any muscles or any feelings from the lower back or abdomen, the chest and upper back. Start to focus on the root chakra, the first chakra. Breathing, picturing all the most beautiful, richest colors of red and crimson. Picturing your chakra as a disc, as a plate, as a sphere. There is no wrong way to do this. Just picturing the red coming from the first chakra and filling up the entire Merkaba that is counter-rotating faster and faster. Picture every portion, every part of the Merkaba starts to glow brighter and brighter with all of these beautiful colors of red. Thumbs pressed into the pointer finger, not too hard, not too soft. In through the nose, out through the nose, we're breathing. Once this reach the, reaches the fastest level of spin, once the spin reaches maximum velocity, we now press the thumb middle finger, move our soft attention to the second chakra, the sexual center, the sacral chakra. Picture all the most beautiful colors of orange and tangerine, the orange fire, the orange light. Keep spinning the Merkaba. Posture, relaxed breath through the nose. Picture as the orange starts to dance with the red. These colors do not blend together. The 
each color is independently represented inside the Merkaba as it continues to spin and spin. out through the nose, all the most beautiful colors of green, dark greens, light greens, lime greens, spinning out of the heart chakra, and filling up your Merkaba. You can clearly see how red, orange, yellow, and green are all dancing beautiful light ship that is our auric field. Now raising the awareness to the throat chakra, bringing the thumb, middle finger, and pointer finger together on each hand. Still breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Tongue pressed in the roof of the mouth still. Picturing all the most beautiful baby blues, cobalt blues. Spinning out of your throat chakra center. And filling up the Merkaba. Red, orange, yellow, green, and baby blue are doing a beautiful dance inside of the Merkaba as it spins faster and faster. fire light, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. You might be noticing that your breath has slowed down a little bit at this point. This is very good. Continue breathing, spinning the Merkaba, watching the colors dance, and proceed to bring the thumb 
together in our each hand. We've now made it to the crown that is resting on top of your beautiful head. Picturing all of the white purples, the violets, darkest and most beautiful purples in all of the purple rays and fires. Spin from your crown chakra, your seventh chakra, and fill the Merkaba field as it spins and spins. We watch as the purples, the indigos, the baby blues and greens, yellow, oranges, and reds do this glorious, beautiful dance inside of your Merkaba field. Next step up to the eighth chakra, the soul star, bringing the thumb ring finger, middle finger, and pointer finger together on each hand. Pinkies should be slightly extended towards the sky because the back of our hand is still on top of the thigh, close to the knee. Perfect posture. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose, and adding all of the most beautiful white silvers, gray silvers, glorious colors of silver start to add to the Merkaba field. And we breathe. Spinning the light body faster and faster. Faster and faster. Faster and faster the Merkaba goes. We will now rest our hands in our lap for the final mudra. One hand down in front of your pelvis. Whatever hand feels most comfortable to bring down on top of it, bring the thumbs together far away, it looks like you're holding a little lotus flower. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. We're now up to the tenth chakra of light. The platinum ray. The platinum fire. Glistening with rainbow light. Platinum ray fills your Merkaba. All of the platinum rainbow light, the golden light, the silver light, mixing up inside of the Merkaba with 
without blending with each other, dancing throughout the other colors. Beautiful, beautiful spectral rainbows. Breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. The ship spins faster and faster. filled with all these colors of light continues to spin like this. We notice around the Merkaba a torus has formed. The torus looks like a gigantic woven donut. Was the torus always there? Or is it just more noticeable now? Put the proper spin on the torus. We will now say the numbers 144, 233. You can say this in your head. You can say it out loud if you want. 144, 233. 144, 233. 144, 233. At this point, we will all continue to listen to the drum and sit in meditation together. This Merkaba and Taurus field will protect your body, will shield your body wherever you go. Whenever you're feeling safe and ready to leave your body, travel to the higher realms, you will be safe. You are so safe and you are so loved. Pressing the tongue into the roof of the mouth. Continue to watch the Merkaba spin. Continue to watch the beautiful colors dance around you. Breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. And in through the nose and out through the nose. And just be.